What's going on guys? In today's video, we're gonna be looking at this brand new live streaming video switcher here by RGB Link. It is the Mini Pro. What's going on everybody? Welcome back, Leo Potzel Productions. Thank you very much for tuning in. In today's video, we're gonna go into detail about this RGB Link Mini Pro video switcher here. And right now, I currently have it set up right behind the camera on my computer setup desktop little studio area. And I'm going to be sharing with you guys my overall setup and how it works, how we're gonna be able to connect it all the cool kind of features that are included with the Mini Pro and any extra kind of tips and tricks that I love to share with you guys. So stay tuned with me today, guys. Let's just jump right into the RGB Link Mini Pro switcher so I can show you how I have it connected and get more familiar on how to use it. Let's get right into it. All right, guys, so here we have my setup over here where I'm gonna be doing most of my live streaming with my RGB Link Mini controller. Don't get overwhelmed. There's a little bit going on over here. It's not too complicated. We're gonna break it down for you right now. So as you can see here, I have the Mini Pro just simply here on my desk. I just took advantage of the quarter inch threads here at the side of the Mini Pro, and I just connected this little swivel magic arm here to this little cheese plate. I'm not gonna really say it's needed, but I thought I'd just take advantage of the quarter inch threads, and that way I can kind of keep it elevated a little bit, and that way it can have a little bit more easy way to kind of ventilate for the heating and whatnot for the fan and I can also adjust the angle if I wanted to as well. And I will mention over here, as we are looking at the controller, I can just simply toggle over the T-bar over here between the two video cameras that I have plugged in right now via HDMI. So this T-bar right here is nice and easy to use. You can see the little LCD display screen as well. So overall, let's go ahead and see how we connected this bad boy. And uh, we kind of connected these two cameras that I have over here. So. Let's just keep it simple. How did we power on this Mini Pro? Well, simply right here at the back of the Mini Pro, we're gonna have this USB type C cable and this cable and adapter that's plugged into the wall is included with the Mini Pro. So no need to worry about that. We have the cable to be able to power the Mini Pro. We do also have this on and off switch right here, little toggle to power on the Mini Pro. If you notice over here, we have the two HDMI cables. There are four HDMI inputs. I'm currently only using two HDMI inputs. So I have two extra slots that I can plug in two more cameras right now. But the two cameras that I do have connected as I will mention, this HDMI cable is coming from my Zcam E2 M4, which is actually right here from the monitor. So my Zcam is also having a monitor so I can view as a camera operator. So what I've done here, the HDMI in that's coming from the camera, I just loop that out and I'm sending this. If you notice this type of cable, I'm sending this cable directly to the RGB Link Mini Pro. So this HDMI cable is coming from the Zcam. This other HDMI cable right here, this is my second HDMI input, and that is coming from my Panasonic GH5. I have it just simply plugged in HDMI from the GH5 directly into one of the HDMI inputs. So as I mentioned, I do have two HDMI slots that are currently not being used right now and I can connect two more cameras via HDMI right there. Lastly, we have the HDMI output. This HDMI output is literally just running here to my desk view monitor. This is the desk view R5. It's just a simple camera monitor that we can simply use to monitor what we are filming. And what I've done here, if you noticed here to the side, I also have an HDMI out cable because I took advantage of the HDMI out from this monitor and I'm sending that signal to my TV screen if I would like to. So I have a large TV screen right here and I can go ahead and just simply connect the HDMI to my TV so I can have multiple monitors if needed. You'll notice this other cable right here, this one in the middle. So this is the DC cable. This DC cable is just simply powering the monitor so I don't have to use batteries, okay? So as you can see guys, for the back of the unit, it's pretty straightforward. The power cable on and off switch, we got four HDMI inputs. I'm currently only using two. And we got the HDMI out, as I explained, is getting previewed to that monitor right there. As we saw earlier, we can simply adjust the view right over here. And you can see that it will take the effect here on my monitor. So that is nice feature, easy to use. 
and easy to set up. So having a look here at the side of the unit, we do have an ethernet port that we are currently connected to right now, this yellow one. This is being plugged into my Wi-Fi hub extender that I currently have plugged into the wall. So the Wi-Fi hub extender simply has an ethernet cable at the bottom of it. So I just simply connected this ethernet cable from the Mini Pro to that Wi-Fi extender. If you notice this blue USB cable, this is a 3.0 USB cable and 3.0 USB port that is being plugged in directly right now to my PC. So my PC is recognizing the RGB Mini Link Pro as a USB capture device webcam for an example. If you notice over here, we do also have another USB port. This is a 2.0 and this can simply record whatever we are filming via the RGB Link Mini Pro, we can record it right to this memory card or an SD card, or for an example, even a hard drive, depending how big of a file or how long you're gonna be recording. We do also have two more ports here at the side of the Mini Pro, which is going to be the input and the output for audio 3.5 millimeter jack. I'm currently not using the audio input and output as I have this USB mixer which is plugged into my PC via USB and I have a few mic inputs that I can control and my output to my speakers so don't let my mixer get you know a little bit complicated for you this is just simply I have this all the time my mixer so my mixer is just allowing me to plug in several microphones adjust all my volume and do a bunch of final tweaks etc so um, you don't need a mixer. If you would like, you can use the audio input and output to send the audio signal to speakers, or you can connect a microphone, line in, or mic in, line out. Well, guys, that looks like a wrap for today's video. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Go ahead and subscribe right now if you guys have not subscribed because I'm going to be loading more detailed videos about the RGB Link Mini Pro controller regarding connecting it to our PC via the Mini Expose software application made for this controller, along with being able to connect to the controller and controlling it via our mobile phone. So there's lots to cover, let alone the menu and the settings and the overall setup which I showed you guys today in this video. So if you guys do have any specific questions, let me know down in the comment section down below so I can hopefully just simply read your question, answer it right there in the comment, or even possibly answering those questions in a future video as I plan to cover in more detail about the RGB Link Mini Pro controller. So I really appreciate you guys tuning in. Much love and looking forward to seeing you guys on the next video. Peace.